Hello, this is the 10th tutorial on how to make Minecraft in Flash. In this tutorial, I'm going to start off with making grass. So what we want to do is go to the grass picture, which is in mine, frame 3. Down here where it says type equals dirt, um, we're going to have it check if the block above it is empty. So we'll say if root.scene and then we'll use the block x and we'll use the block y coordinate plus one so we're now checking not this block but the block above it plus one now if that is undefined then we're gonna make this um, turn into grass so Real quick, let's make this into a movie clip. We'll just name it Grass real quick. Press OK. Now in this clip, we want the properties to say Grass. Now when we double click into this, we're going to make two frames. The first frame is going to have the script stop. And on the second frame, all we're going to do is put grass on top. So, there's grass. Now let's go back to block type. Inside of here, we're just going to say grass, which is that movie clip we just made, dot go to and stop to. Now when we test the movie, You'll see we have grass on top of all the blocks that don't have anything above it. Pretty cool. Next, I wanted to make cacti. So, here's our sand. I just made a new keyframe. Let's make it into cacti. A little darker. Don't forget the spikes. So, here's spikes on the cactus. I'm just doing it really quick and simple. There. Now on the frame, all you have to do is type ty equals cacti and then go to properties and make the frame label cacti now let's go to scene go to our script and right where we have desert and it places sand on the top of the world we're also going to randomly add cacti so if random number, let's say if random number 0 through 4 is 1, then we'll add cacti. So that's going to be a lot of cacti. The deserts have a lot of them, don't they? So what we want to do is we want to add sand, or cacti, on top of the sand. So we'll write scene, x position, y position, plus 1 equals cacti. We also want to make maybe two more on top of it, so plus two and plus three. Now we have, well, if I can find the desert biome real quick. No? Doesn't want me to find one. remake the game. Now ah, here we are. So there's our cacti. Look good. Pretty cool. And 
using that those techniques you can add more types of stuff in your world. Next, I am going to show you how to do health. Yay! So, first of all, I am going to go into the mainframe and make an optional um, variable. Health equals true. And what that will say is that if health is true, then have like damage and stuff. Just as a simple thing. Now on our character, oops, that's the world, on our character, we're going to make a new variable called health. Health equals 10 for 10 hearts. Well, actually, since that we have um, half hearts, let's just do 20. So each one is worth half a heart. So now that we have that, let's go into root again and let's make a little text box that tells you your health so I'll make it dynamic and we'll call it well we'll just say world.car.health and you can do that in variables um, it'll look inside of world and it will look on car our character which we actually still have to name so change the instance name to car or care and it's accessing health and now if we test it it'll say 20 because that's what the character's health is oops so let's make the cactus decrease your health so, on the block type of cactus, we're just going to say on enter frame equals function. So on every frame, we'll check if it's hit testing the character. If this dot hit test root dot world dot car, which is our character, then we want root dot world dot car's health to go down so dot health minus minus so this is gonna be um the health is gonna decrease really quick because it happens every frame first let me find a cactus biome there's one I was starting to lose hope so look how my health is decreasing quite rapidly actually <laughs> So what we want to do is make it do it only certain times. So we'll say var time equals 20. Okay. So what we'll do is if time is zero, if the time is down to zero, then we'll do it. Then on every frame, frame we'll have time minus minus. Now if it hits 0, we also want time to go back to 20. So every 20 frames it's going to do the health thing. <laughs> Here's the script. So it sets the time to 20, subtracts 1 from time every frame, and if it ends up being 0, reset the time and check if it's hitting the character. Now also what we need to do here is we have to go um, we have to check if it's still a cactus. So if type equals cacti, then do it. Because if we erase the cactus block, if we mine it, and then we put a block in its place, it'll still check if it's hitting. So let's test it. Oh, here we are in the cactus biome. 
So, let's hit the cactus. Now, notice how it's going down by three? Well, that's because I'm hitting three cactuses at the t same time. Cool. Now we might want to make this into a health bar instead of a text box. So let's do that real quick. Just a rudimentary heart. Color it red. Here we have our heart symbol. I'm gonna make it really small. That's too small. There. So our heart health bar will be 10 hearts. There they are. Now let's make a new clip and call it health bar. I'm gonna get rid of this text box and drag these hearts in its place. I'm gonna double click on it. And now every frame, I'm going to delete a heart. There, so now we have 11 frames. Now I'm going to reverse the frames, so I'm right click, reverse frames. Now we're going to, on all the time, we're going to check what the health is and go to the appropriate frame. So on enter frame equals function, we want to tap it on every frame, of course. Then we're going to see what the health is. We're going to say, we're going to make it go to and stop, actually. Go to and stop. On what frame? Well, we want it to be root dot world dot car dot health. Then we want it divided by two, and then we want to round it. So at the very beginning, we want to say math dot round. Actually, I'm going to seal it. S E I L. Yes, seal it. So if it's zero, then we're going to be on oops plus one if it's zero we want it to be on the first frame i'm gonna put that there actually if it's one then it's actually going to go to the second frame because what we do is we go one divided by two which is 0.5 we're gonna go round it up so it would be then one and then we add one to it so then it's frame two if it's if the health is 3, then 3 divided by 2 is 1.5. Rounding it up, it's then 2. Then add 1, then it's frame 3. We have two hearts. A little confusing, but it makes sense to me, so. Okay, here we have the hearts. Now let's hit a cactus. Let me get a cactus. Oops. There's our health going down. Cool. Now, I didn't hit get health decrease from the cactus right away. That's because the cactus is not big enough for the character to hit it. So all I'm going to do is make a bigger box like that. Make it invisible. Group it so that it doesn't mess up anything. And put it right there. So now your character will hit it better. And that's typically what you do for health. And the last thing to make it all clean is go to character. 
actually go to it this way. Go to character. And, we, and if the health is less than zero, if less if health is less than zero, then let's just keep it zero because we'd want negative health. That wouldn't make sense. Now, I'm gonna say less than or equal to zero, so that later we can make that our respawn script. And that's the end of tutorial five on how to make Minecraft in Flash. Thanks for watching. Bye.